All right, this is the line I'm gonna pull on to help elevate this pressure washer. And as I do that, of course, all these strands are gonna shorten and that's gonna give me my mechanical advantage. Now, I'm gonna put a Marlin spike in so that I can keep it hoisted while I pull my truck underneath. And I'm just gonna use my hammer as an improvised Marlin spike. There we go. Now for my Marlin spike. Now there's a lot of friction on this rope, so it's not gonna fall down so easily. I'm just putting this in so that it stays secure. There we go. All right, I closed the garage so that you guys could get a better view without the glare. I'm just gonna pull on my Marlin spike here. In this case, it's a hammer and I'm gonna release it. All right, now I'm just gonna let go of the tension and I'm gonna have to help it out because this rope does have a lot of friction on it. There we go. And of course I'd be lowering it in the back of my truck. That'll happen after I finish this video here. First thing I'm gonna do is take one fathom of rope, which is the distance between my outstretched hands and I'm going to Cut that section out. Take your rope and fold it in half. Then I'm gonna take the bite of it and put it in between the fingers of my left hand, just like this. I'm gonna use my other hand as a measuring guide. There we go, just like that. Now I'm gonna make another bite and put it in between my middle finger and my ring finger. Again, using my hand as a measuring tool. And then a third one in between my thumb and pointer. Now if I were to set this thing down, you see that I have a cross. Pick it back up. Okay. It's the same concept as folding a cardboard box. I'll push this flap down, then this one, then this one, and then this final one, I'll bring up this flap and then I'll tuck it underneath. There we go. So take these two strands right here and put them up between the first and second loop. Now I'm gonna take this one, fold it over, Use my thumb to hold it down. We got this one, fold it down. And then I'm gonna take this last one over here, bring it over, and I'm gonna tuck it under the first two strands that we brought up. Use my fingers to help keep it all together. And then when we pull it out, you'll see that we have this nice symmetrical knot. Take out all the slack. There we go, and now we have our three pulleys for our block and tackle system. To connect these two ends, I'm just gonna use a water knot, which is an overhand knot on this side, just like that, and then I'm gonna use the other side to just trace the same knot. There we go, poke it through. And so now I have two overhand knots that are just tracing each other and that's a water knot. Okay, there we go, we're ready to get this installed. Okay, up here I'm just using my garage door opener brackets to hold this whole rig. I just have an overhand knot here. I have a shackle holding it, and this is just one continuous piece of rope. To secure this over here, I'm just gonna use a figure eight knot right in between the two strands. There we go, that's nice and secure. Here's my block and tackle system, all rigged up. Now I'm just gonna pull on this line and then once I have it hoisted up in the air, I'm gonna back my truck underneath it and then lower it back down. There we go.